Hello, my name is Chris Borton. I'm a director of Sage Mountain Center. Sage Mountain Center is an education facility located outside of Whitehall, Montana, down by Butte. And uh, our goal has been to uh, promote renewable energy, sustainable living through workshops, tours of our site. My beginnings into renewable energy probably started when my partner and I, Linda, um, wanted to create an education center and we knew that we wanted it to be based on sustainable principles. At that time, uh, like I said 20 plus years ago, Linda was working as a full-time nurse and my background was in, I taught yoga and music and that didn't really apply too much to construction, but um, you know I had the, the ability to build and do things with my hands and I'm a big proponent of reading. Um, you know, in my mind if you can read well you can pretty much figure out anything because everybody has almost done it before you and so you just draw on the knowledge that's already out there. One of our goals was to uh, use the natural resources that were on site as much as possible. Um, that's where our starting point was. Then we um, would use recycled materials, that would be another source of materials coming in to build the building. Um, and then the other thing was to incorporate as many renewable energy and sustainable principles as possible into the center. So um, as I mentioned before, it's kind of like putting a puzzle together. For me as a yoga instructor, it's almost like creating a body because a house operates exactly like a body. Um, it's amazing, you know, circulatory system, digestive system, um, the electronic system in a home cor correlates to our spine. Um, I mean, and everything goes out from there. And so it's like building this thing that works in harmony and in sync with itself. And it's, uh, it's really a fun adventure. Uh, we discovered cordwood construction is a log style building that is said to come from Scandinavian countries and it gives a very nice R value, it's a very thick wall and two people can build it quite easily so we use the cordwood construction we use straw bale construction um, the straw bales come just 15 minutes down the road from Smith's Ranch um, we like to say we can see where our walls were grown the season before uh, the barley bales Solar electricity, we've been off-grid for 20 plus years. We haven't had electric going that long. And um, we've got a wind generator outside. And we have solar hot water, uh, which is tied into the in-floor heating system. And we've got a, we've been working the last two years on a greenhouse, a food production center. And we're really excited about that because um, we know after this winter, we'll be able to grow all of our greens all winter long. And that's without any fossil fuel source to keep the greenhouse warm. So basically Sage Mountain Center was designed as an education facility. Uh, our goal was, goal was and is to um, promote sustainable living. And in building the center, one of our uh, main focuses was to be able to show people this technology, how it works, what, what it feels like, what it looks like. Um, so many people we work with over the years um, are hands-on. They can see something, feel it, they get it. Uh, we've had Democrats and Republicans, we've had the far right and the far left, uh, we've had uh, the farmers and ranchers and business people and the, the thing that's, that's really nice about sustainable living is it really applies to everybody. The field of renewables, specifically um, say solar electricity or wind generation, um, is completely booming. Um, there's no turning back. When we first started, those of us in this field, we were, we were just kind of the few and the far between, you know, scraping by waiting for the technology, waiting for the world conditions to be right for this technology to blossom, and we're here. And now solar electricity, particularly um, polycrystalline silicon, 
modules, the price is just dropping so fast right now. Um, and that's really exciting for consumers. Um, in lots of parts of the United States now, grid parity has been reached. That's, that's a major, major breakthrough because that means now that solar electricity is the same cost as conventional electricity or cheaper in some cases. It's ready. It's, 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 it's not new technology anymore. It might be new to you, but as a technology, it's out there, it's ready, it's being used all over the planet. And especially for Montanans, um, it's something we should be tapping into.